So it's Wednesday, September 11th. Uh, we just had the debate with Donald Trump and Kamala Harris last night. Sam Harris, he posted on, this is, uh, I think, Threads and Substack. I just wanted to kind of highlight this. Sam, someone that many view as like a thought leader. Okay, so he's highlighting my impressions of last night's debate. Trump wasn't as crazy or as incoherent as he could have been, but Harris was much, much better than I expected. The key to her victory was that she successfully demeaned him without demeaning herself. She did this beautifully for nearly an hour. When she got under his skin, his love of dictators, the ease with which they manipulate him, his crowd size, he began to unravel. Okay, so yeah, at one point in the debate, for example, she talked about how a lot of these like strong men how they love the idea of a Trump presidency because they can easily flatter him and manipulate him and get him to do their will. She talked about how world leaders were laughing at him and his face at that point. Like, he just looked like he didn't know how to handle that. He looked like he didn't, like, know how to respond. He looked really disturbed by that. Okay, he keeps going. And he became a seething mess and couldn't even look at her. Did he look at her once? Okay, well, she just stared at him in disbelief. The entire country could read the questions on her face. Can you believe this man was ever president? Can you believe that he could become president again? Okay, and honestly, a lot of rational people in the country, they're thinking the same thing. Maybe not the MAGA faithful, the MAGA loyal, who would say that Trump derangement syndrome abounds and people like Sam Harris, but a lot of people have been just watching the last like eight years in disbelief that the man is popular. Much is being said about the moderators and fairly fact-checking Trump. Again, this is MAGA type people that are upset with it. They're mad that the moderator highlighted uh, that that town in Ohio, the city manager said people aren't having their pets kidnapped, their pets aren't being eaten. So some, again, MAGA are really upset with that. They believe that the moderator shouldn't jump in. They should be able to just let Trump say whatever and that Individuals can try to fact check him if they want, but that the moderator should not try to. <clears throat> yes, Harris spoke a few falsehoods herself, and if the moderators had pushed back on just one of them, the debate would have been fair. However, anyone concerned about fairness lost the plot a decade ago. The great disservice the media did to this country was to normalize Trump in the first place. Okay, so the media has been reporting on Trump so much, and it drove so many views. And he's arguing that basically the craziness of Trump has just become normalized to where you hit a point last night, like last night, where Trump's just saying all kinds of like wild stuff. And it just seems like typical Trump. If anyone else had said the kind of stuff that he says, you know, they'd be fired from their jobs. If it was a politician, they would get destroyed really quick. But he's just been spouting nonstop chaos for so long. <clears throat> the man is a moral lunatic. In truth, the moderators could have been much, much harder on him last night, and it would have been entirely justified. Just realize what we were looking at. The blizzard of lies, aside what we, uh, blizzard of lies, aside we watched a former president rave about the country being already destroyed in a coming nuclear war. Nothing about this was normal or even remotely acceptable, and yet even the unfair moderators had, acclim had acclimated to the insanity of it and didn't. Anyway, Harris deserves high praise for how she handled a very difficult task. I just hope it matters in November. And so, again, pointing out, you can look at previous videos I've done. There have been times where Trump has been critical of Harris. There have been times where Trump said uh, about, like, the Charlottesville, Charlottesville, like, March, that there were some things that Trump said that were taken out of context. I think Sam tries to be fair. And honestly people that have really been paying attention and aren't in uh, basically like a MAGA indoctrination fest, like it seems very clear, it seems very obvious that Trump is a con man. Trump University, for example. Uh, the fact that he didn't pay his contractors, the fact that he tried to do the fake elector scheme, the fact that he tried to play the whole like birthers thing with Obama and say that he wasn't born in the country. Harris pointed out the, you know, the fact the five black boys in New York that he was taking ads out on to try to say that they should be executed. Like the guy has just been unhinged for so long. He doesn't care about telling the truth. He doesn't care about people in the country. It's a facade, and at this point, he's running, really to try to gain more power, and to try to stay out of prison. 
And if you argue against that, I'm going to ask you to come up with some facts. I'm going to ask you to come up with some sources. The media is not unfair to him. They report on what he says, or they say how what he says is inaccurate, and MAGA can't handle it. Because a lot of them are in this conspiratorial mindset where they think that all the elite are out to get them, when in reality, a lot of the time, they just don't have the background knowledge to understand what's going on. They don't have the background knowledge to understand how when Trump asked the Georgia Secretary of State to come up with more votes, how that's a horrible, ridiculous thing, or how the fake elector scheme is so bad. It's like they just don't have the civic background knowledge to understand why these things are as bad as they are.